How's that? A little romantic for broad daylight, maybe, but it's soothing. That's uh, fine, thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing terrific. I don't know what my sister had in mind when she asked you to go and talk about having to be rescued. <laughs> I wonder if that woman even knows who I am. You should wonder. I mean, for her to believe that I would actually subject myself to that kind of humiliation. You know, all I want is the world to forget that this accident ever happened. Now, if that's a reporter, you shoot to kill. Trust me. Hi. 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 Yeah, you sure is. Come on in. Oh, hey. flowers. Oh, what's this now? This flowers for the corpse? Does it come to that? How about giving me a kiss here, huh? Mmm. Oh, thank you very much. Ooh, those are pretty. Uh, Cheryl, uh, could you do me a favor and make another pot of tea? Is that okay? Decent. Okay. Sure. And I can get a vase for these flowers. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, you look good. But you're always an actor. How do you feel? <laughs> Even better than I look. Never mind all that. Well, uh, Cheryl's still out of the room. What happened at the WSB after we hung up? I got a call from a very good buddy of mine back there. What did he say? Well, he was wondering why we never recruited you. You made one hell of an impression. I intended to. It <laughs> goes live. Oh, Feliciani, that is... Mm. That is... That missing in action story was a smokescreen all along, wasn't it? Well, we have to keep the smokescreen up because it's a big thing that's going on and it's very hot. Well, that's another good reason to stay off television. Damn. Well, that's hurting you more than you're letting on. No, 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 it's nothing. Forget it. <laughs> Easy for me, hard for you. So what happened? Well, it was just uh, sheer dumb stupidity and failing reflexes, that's all. Oh, no, come on. Tell me the truth. Well, there's a... Uh, uh, lift truck that was loading one of the ships there and a crate slid off and I just wasn't oh, quick enough to get out of the way. That's awful. So it just clipped you then? Yeah, yeah. It uh, landed on top of me. But, uh, one, one of the edges uh, got hung up on something or other, one more inch, and he probably would have had to bury me in a double-wide coffin. Well, it could have happened to anybody. Yeah, but, you know, I, I never used to be just anybody. I mean, five years ago, a year ago, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been hurt at all. I, and in fact, I'm not hurt. I mean, that that damn crate wouldn't have even touched me. I get the feeling that the that the game is over. Hey, we're just about to forget Tiffany's show. You can't stand to watch it, can't you, Sean? Yeah. No way. No, I'm sorry. Look, I know you're just trying to do your job, and I appreciate all your help. I'm out there in makeup. Oh, thanks. What's going anyway. on? Are you finished with him yet? Yes, we're all finished. I'm ready. He says no makeup. Well, uh, honey, we're going on the air in just a few minutes. You have to have makeup on your face. Look, ma'am, I'm not an actor. I'm not a politician. I want to look real. That's okay. That's not why we put makeup on your face. The lights are so bright. If you don't have makeup, your face is going to be washed out. And we want to show that rugged, beautiful face of yours. Come on. Look, I'm not here to show off with makeup or anything else. I'm just a guy that was down on the docks. I saw an accident. I helped the guy out back okay, then. Okay, good. That's fine. But nobody else did that. You're the one that did it. That's why you're special, okay? So don't knock yourself down. Okay? Now, this is television. We want a little drama. The people want to see drama, you know? So just perk it up a little bit, okay? Yeah, just kind of jazz things up a little, Yeah, huh? that's right. Forget it. Why? Look. If the truth isn't good enough for television, then television is doing something wrong. I am not some kind of trained dog. We're ready, I, sir. I, I know good. you're Thank not you a trained much. dog. I know that at all. I don't want you to be... I just want you to tell the truth. Can you just tell the truth? You're yes, ma'am. Are you going to answer the questions that I ask you? I will answer your questions as long as they're sensible. They'll yes. be sensible, believe me. I'm coming. Oh! I am Hello, so Jimmy. Hello, Dan. How are you? Hi, Lucy. Hi, Jimmy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Charlene. <gasps> you know, I just had a dynamite idea of seeing you here. What? Haven't you come on the show with Colton so you can tell us a little bit more about this shy, silent hero? Violet? 
Golden? Well, you know, you could tell us how you felt when you first heard his name on the news. Or when or you first, you know, you were trembling. Your body was trembling because you thought he might be killed or injured. Or how you felt when you sent your baby boy off to the Marines to serve his country. Oh, you know, well, like sugar, that. I didn't worry a thing about that. I'll tell you something. That if he couldn't talk his way out, he sure could fight his way out. <laughs> <laughs> well, couldn't you just kind of pretend... Oh, yeah, yeah, I could pretend anything. Sure, yeah. Thank you. Sure. Just, you know, actually, like everybody. Scared. Let's go. 60 huh? seconds to air. Okay. Uh, 60 seconds. Yeah, I'll be over oh, here. Oh, this way. Come on. Right down through here. Right around here. Can you get another chair, please? We... Another chair. Holly, what are you doing? Where well, she's asking she's me on this show. We need to find out. Oh, job over, sugar. Ma'am, please. Who's your focus? Oh, Lord. Quiet, please. In five, four, three, two... Good morning. Tiffany Hill with Inside Views. Today we're talking about the Port Charles waterfront and asking the question, is the waterfront safe for ordinary people? Ruby, why are we watching this show? Because Dan said he was going to be on it and he wanted me to watch it. Besides, what have you got against heroes? Yeah. When they're related to Lucy Coe, they make the hair on my neck rise. <laughs> we also have with us a Marine, who's just a man who just got out of the room. Will you look at that? That's Charlene sitting next to Dan Rooney. Can you believe that? What's she doing there? Oh, that family. They're going to curse us forever. Two days ago, Sean Donnelly of Fort Charles was walking along the docks. It's a normal day. No visitor than any other. As he passed near a ship being loaded, a forklift dropped a container that it was moving. Now, this container struck Sean Donnelly. The first miracle is that Mr. Donnelly was not killed. The second miracle is that Colton Shore was also on the docks that day.